So we've got our piece clamped down to our tabletop now. For this operation, we've decided just to use our standard hold down clamps. Although there's a number of different hold down options out there for you, this operation just requires standard hold down clamps. And we want to make sure we're clamping where the bit isn't cutting. Absolutely. So in the software, you now know how much waste material you have on the outside. So we know what is going to be a safe clamping area so that we don't hit a clamp with a bit. Not fun. So after that's done, the next thing that we need to do is just set a few things, really. Our XY0, our Z0, and then our spindle RPM. And then we're ready to run at that point. So if you look at our piece here, we've got an X marked in the center of our material. When you guys were doing the software design, you marked the date and position as your origin location. So what we need to do is jog the machine manually to that location and just tell it that this is the origin location or the date and position. And we'll set that as the XY0. So we'll manually jog the machine over. Okay, so now that we've reached that point, we can go ahead and set our Z0. And what's the Z0? So the Z0 is really just telling us Where's the end of the bit and where's the top of the material? We got two different ways of setting that. So we can use our touch off puck, which comes with all the machines, or you can simply do it manually by jogging that machine down. So it's just over top of the surface of the material and then zeroing out manually. Okay. For this operation, we'll use the touch off puck. So it's just one simple button on the controller called tool set. We'll go ahead and hit that and then you'll see the Z start to come down until it makes contact with that touch off puck. So now the machine knows this is pre-programmed in the controller as 24 millimeters thick. It knows now from the point of contact, 24 millimeters down from there, is the surface of my material and the end of the bit. All right. So the only thing left to do is set our spindle RPM at this point. And uh, what kind of bit are we using here? So for this operation, if you look in here, chucked in all ready to go is a half inch spiral and mill that we're going to be using. So for that, we're typically running about 18,000 RPM. So we're gonna go down to the bottom of the machine here and set our spindle RPM. So we'll set that at about 300. That gives us about 18,000 RPM. Okay, and at that point, we'll just put our dust shoe on and then we're ready to run. Okay, so we've got our flash drive here. We're just gonna insert that into the top of the controller. We're gonna hit the run button. Flash drive's gonna load. We're gonna run from the U-disk, not the internal memory, which is the flash drive. So we'll hit OK, find our file, which is going to be the half inch pocket. We'll hit OK one more time. We'll get a three second countdown for the spindle to come up to operating RPM, and then it's off and running. With the location of the sign determined, it's time to dress it up a bit. 